hi uh, welcome to my channel so in this video I'll show I'm going to demonstrate how to create your own operating system on your own embedded Linux uh, using Yocto as well as a UI which has been created in Qt so what you're seeing on the screen right now is a embedded browser based UI which uh, allows you to stream uh, videos from the net but this is running on a customized embedded Linux uh, which has been created with Yocto. So well I could not find such uh, similar examples on the net so I thought I'll uh, share this with you uh, and I am uh, uh, uploading this video again because uh, previously I had a question from people who were not able to understand what this video was about so somebody just felt that okay oh maybe uh, you are just playing some videos from the YouTube that's all right uh, well just to make it a bit more simplistic to understand so what is going on here is uh, I have created a customized embedded Linux uh, operating system using Yocto and then on top of that uh, there is I have created a UI with Qt which is a browser based UI so that uh, the operating system which has been the embedded Linux which has been created launches this UI which is what you are seeing on the screen now so I'm just playing uh, the Mad Max trailer here so and this uh, setup uh, has been ext is extremely configurable so that it plays in nicely and it scales nicely whether on a television as you see on the screen now so this is running on my 65 inch television so the same setting works on a 65 inch television or a, even a small handheld raspberry pi lcd screen which is just a 7 inch so the idea behind this was to create a uh, just to mimic something like for example those amazon echo devices or a set of boxes uh, those kind of scenarios where you have been given a hardware and you have been asked to create a customized operating system for it as well as a UI for it as well. So it covers both uh, creating an operating system using Yocto and uh, also creating a UI and then customizing it so that it works on any devices and it scales nicely as well. So yeah, I am uh, hopefully this should make it clear what this video is about and I am just playing the Mad Max trailer as you can see and it scales nicely really. So I think yeah, this should be enough to start with. I'll continue the, vi uh, the video as it was uh, before and uh, hopefully this uh, somebody will find it interesting. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please get back to me. I'll just go quiet now and let you enjoy the video here. in our own way was broken. It was hard to know who was more crazy. Me. Or everyone else. Uh, welcome to my channel uh, this is one of the previous videos which I have made and as you can see I was struggling to even click or touch some icons on the screen so this had Ubuntu desktop installed on the Raspberry Pi but it was a complete disaster really the uh, because it's not optimized for touch displays or for touch screens or for the small screen at all. These operating systems uh, won't work here, at least not the desktop version of Ubuntu. And there is no special mobile version. I was even hoping that the keyboard would pop up, but nothing appears as you can see. It was a struggle really. Well, so this is what prompted me to start the project basically, uh, what you saw in the intro. 
how if I want to watch some YouTube videos or play something and how do I do that on the Raspberry Pi. So what will you need for this project? Of course, you need a Raspberry Pi. I am using 4 GB model and uh, which is which you can see on your screen and you will need a real time clock module which is quite cheap as well. It costs about five pounds in the UK and it can be fitted along with the official LCD touchscreen uh, case as well. So just install these two, uh, I mean, yeah, sorry, just install this RTC clock module and you should be good for this project. And if you plan to use uh, this for using on your television, as I had demonstrated in the beginning of the video, then it is also a good idea to invest in a remote control which you can connect with your Raspberry Pi. This is a wireless remote control, a USB one. So you can control everything on the screen with this. It's a good investment if you are using other players as well. So I am using this in the videos here. So if you want to use uh, these features on a television, this Linux image, then uh, it's better to use this one as well. So let's get started and see what are the efforts required for this project basically. So you will need to have a real time clock and enable the sound uh, in Yocto through the conf file, through the local.conf file, which you can read all the details are on my blog, which I have published on the description. So you can read the blog in detail. And what we'll be doing is we'll be building the Qt web engine with all the codecs so that we can play almost all the media from the different websites and we will enable virtual keyboard so that we can use it for search features or other things in our applications and if we are going to design the ui for a small screen like a lcd touch screen we can as well as make sure that it works on a 4k television if required so yeah and the entire process uh, took me about around 20 hours to build uh, so basically Yocto will take about 20 hours to give you the image uh, with these features so yeah prepare yourself uh, and uh, make sure that you read something about Qt web engine as well in case if you are not sure how to use it if you want to build it yourself or you can download the entire image from the link which I have given in the description so you don't need to build it yourself and regarding the UI which you just saw in the beginning or in case you have noticed it, you can download the source code from this uh, link which I have, you can see on your screen. It's just a normal QML based UI application uh, which just opens different pages uh, with links inside them. The only special feature which I think worth mentioning is that how the scaling is done. So I designed this application for 800 by 480, which is the official LCD touch screen. But then uh, using uh, some special formulas or the ratio formulas, we can scale it so that it works even on a 4K screen. So later on, I'll be uh, demonstrating uh, this UI on the 65 inch television to see how the UIs uh, scale up basically. So you can have a look at this source code and maybe uh, change it if you want to change or basically build it yourself. So yeah, the link is available in the description and also on my blog site basically. So have a read through the blog because that will help you if you want to do this on your own. You can uh, go through the steps there. So I'll be updating the blog uh, regularly just in case if I miss something, I'll put it there. So, and yeah, this is my website, everything embedded.blogspot.com. You can read the details of the entire project here. Uh, so this will include all the conf files, Yocto configuration files, as well as the actual Linux image itself, which I have uh, branded as Coffee Place. Well, um, that was the name which I could come up with. Uh, sounds very relaxing and something uh, which should be just easy enough to take really so go through this blog it may be of use to you if it is of any help to you so after you have done the builds and everything so i'll demonstrate how the actual uh, 
how coffee place looks like so this is me do, installing it on raspberry pi lcd touch screen so i'll just start it up now so you should be familiar with by this now i mean uh, this is standard through which we go through so i have designed my own custom logo which i picked up from uh, freepick.com so this coffee place logo came from freepick.com and i just used it inside my project and when the pi when this boots up it should launch the initial the ui which i which we just saw in the previous screens basically so this is the same ui now we can see it in action basically yeah so this is the dashboard which appears so this comes from a website called as dashboard again you can see that in the source code and i'll go through the menus here so we have i have included a, pro, a link to a site called slack which is mostly used for developers or other business related chats really so if you have a large team or if you are working across different countries or different teams so this can be a useful tool to collaborate with other team members so you can see all the messages on your screen if you log in to slack and there is a timer here a pomodoro pomodoro timer which can help you to keep track of your meetings so that should be also be helpful and then of course you have youtube to play media if that interests you it will take a while to start up because the my raspberry pi is connected via wi-fi so it does take a little bit of time to come up so yeah you can see youtube appears as well and we have movie trailers which takes you to imdb trailers website and i'll go back and then there is also a link to a world radio website i'm still to test to make uh, to test this website but i may change the urls really so this is just a demonstration this is just a technology demonstration to about embedded about using embedded bra uh, browser inside uh, raspberry pi and then we have device management menu okay yeah this is just about page just to there and so you can control your device from uh, this menu where you get the option to configure terminal reboot and shutdown and yes so that should be fairly simple to follow and i also enabled virtual keyboard uh, option in this in coffee place i should say rather than keep on saying linux image so as you can see on your screen now a virtual keyboard appears which allows you to search for youtube videos if you want to so here is me searching for the mad max uh, trailer on youtube and this is imdb site and this is on my television now this is on a 65 inch television again you can see the virtual keyboard in action which feels great really so we don't have to connect any other devices to it we can just uh, use the on screen keyboard and finally i will show you the boot up process uh, when the pi is connected to the television itself so this is my pi which is connected to the television and the logo appears as you can see and to just to show how the ui scale basically how the menus are scaling how the icons and everything how they scale up the title text the icon on the top left the raspberry pi icon and the text itself uh, this was what i was talking about the, the text and the ui should uh, scale properly be it a small screen or be it a very large screen so everything just uh, looks perfect really and let me click on the menu here just to see if uh, it's proper yeah so yes you see the text has scaled up perfectly here which you can look in the source code to again to see how we calculate the formulas for increasing or decreasing the text size 
So again, if you have a television or if you have a, some spare Raspberry Pis lying around, you can connect them to your TV and have these features uh, on your screen. So it can be useful if you are interested. Other thing is, yeah, uh, please do read the blog if, uh, for more details. Uh, that should tell you if there are any problems in the image or what is going on or if you need uh, many more features or if you feel any comments, yeah, please do give me your comments. What do you feel about, I mean, uh, if you want any more new features in this, I'll shut down the option. Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you will read my blog and like this video. Thank you very much and I will leave now.